Hello class, this is a video recording for our Friday's lecture. Um, in, in this recording, I will talk about two things. The first thing is uh, to introduce you to hash maps, which is a very important data structure. People use it very often. And then uh, the second recording will be about Markov models. So um, the first topic is hash map. So hash map is basically a structure that give you some sort of mapping relationship. For example, we all of us know arrays, right? So if you look at an array, for example, if you have an integer array, we know that each element has an index and you may see values like that. So for an array, it is basically a mapping between index and a value. This value can be a string, it can be an object, it can be anything else, but this index must be an int. And that is the limitation of array as well as array list, right? So for array list, you can store any kind of objects in there, but at the end of the day, you have to use some sort of integer as the index to access them. But not all mappings have this index as an integer. For example, if I want to store the data for name and GPA pairs, so for Paul, the GPA is 4.0, for uh, Rick Ord, the GPA is 1.0. So if you look at the mapping, it is basically a mapping between a string and a double. Okay. Similarly for the city name, um, city name can be a string, and zip code, you can treat it as a string. So this may be a, a string with a string relationship. So if you have data like this, which, which is very, very often, array or array list is not enough. So this is where the idea of maps come in place. So for maps, you basically generalize the key, which is the first part. You use the key to look up for the value. So key is something you search for. Like I want to know what is the zip code for La Jolla. La Jolla is something you search for. And the zip code you get is the data. And we call that value. Okay. Um, so when do we use hash map? Uh, in AB, we won't be talking about why hash map is a good tool. You will learn that in CSC 100. But hash map give you very, very fast lookup. In other words, you put a lot of city name zip code pairs in the map. You want to search for it. Search for what is the zip code for a specific city. The hash map can give you a constant time lookup in general. For arrays or for other kind of data structure in general, you can't achieve that fast of lookup. But if um, your key is no is not uh, sorry if your key is an integer sometimes people just use array but sometimes even if your key is integer people still use hash map if you have to look up a lot from this data structure okay so this is kind of hash map you can just treat it like a, a, a generic array in a sense okay so here is one example um the way you can create a hash map is uh, you need to import java.utility and you can just import star here because there are different kinds of maps and in this class we we'll only focus on hash map. Okay. And then the hash map you need to provide two things. The first thing is the key. The second thing is the, the value. So this hash map is a mapping between a string key and the integer value. You create a map object, and then you can start to use put method to put things into the uh, map. So as you can see, we are probably looking at uh, 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 email to salary. For example, for me, my salary is zero. Leo Potter, his salary is 152. Record, super rich, Gary Gillespie, uh, negative value, just for fun. Uh, and then uh, you put in a lot of data in there. Um, 
And then later on, you can start to use get to traverse the map. In general, you are using a map not because you want to traverse it. You want to kind of look up for something. For example, people use this more often. So I want to look for what is the salary if I give you Leo Potter's email. So look up. Or well, kind of a more generic term is search is the, is the strength of maps. Traversing the map is not the best way if you want to use the map. So this is more about data structure. In other words, you make a decision about how you want to store your data based on how you want to use this data in a sense. Okay. But this is kind of how you can just create a map in Java. You do a simple import, you create hash map. The way you create it is very similar to ArrayList, except now you have two things in the pointed bracket. Um, some details about hash map. Um, so how can kind of a hash map store a key and value pair, right? Because the key can be a string, for example. The key may even be a student object. So how can I kind of store this kind of relationship? In general, the key is hashed. So hash is a function, hash into some sort of value, some sort of not value some sort of number. And those numbers are used as the index into some sort of array structure to look up for value. So the reason why it's called hash map, hash map is because the way that we use to hash the keys into some sort of number. For different kind of data, um, you may kind of determine different hash uh, functions. In an uh, object in Java, there is a method called hash code. Basically, it can convert the data of an object into a hash code. So if you write a class, that class automatically inherited from object about hash code. Okay. So in general, at least for 8B, you don't have to worry about how I should design my hash code method such that it give me the best performance. You don't have to worry about it. We we'll just use whatever we get from object. Okay. The other thing is uh, when you insert something into a map, for example, in this exercise, um, when I traverse the map again, after I do the insertion, you will realize that the first thing it printed out may not be YAC242. It may be somebody else's email because maps doesn't maintain your insertion order, at least not for hash maps. And there are other kind of maps like tree maps or linked maps. Linked map can maintain the insertion order, but not for tree maps or hash maps. Okay, so in this class, we only use hash map. Um, and this also tells you kind of hash map, again, is not the best thing if you want to traverse everything you have stored in this map all the time. Okay. Um, so this is just some details some little bit more detail. So hash map, or there's another map called tree map. The way you use tree map is very, very similar to hash map, except their, um, their backend data structure is different. Anyways, both of them implement this interface. And this interface, map interface, provide you with a bunch of methods like get use a different color in here like get given the key you can get the value out or you can um, put where's put over here to put something into a map okay um, this key set will give you a set of all the keys you may need okay so you can kind of look at what we did in here. This key set will give you all the keys in there and you, you can use a for each loop. This is a for each loop, oops. For each loop in here. So in our PIC7, all you need to do is to create maps and the maps that you create will be slightly complicated than this example, but the ideas are exactly the same. 
So I think this is our uh, discussion about maps. Um, we'll stop this video now, and then in the next video, we'll talk about Mark model.